To access the gas burner system, the front cover, top, and drum of the dryer must be removed first. Remove these three screws securing the control panel trim. Please note that this is a view from the rear of the machine. Slide the trim to the left and lift it off of the panel. Now remove these two screws securing the lid to the cabinet. Lift the lid from the front to release it from the notches and tabs at the rear corners. Slide the lid forward to release it from the slot and tab. Now remove these two screws that secure the control panel assembly to the cabinet. Disconnect the control panel ribbon cable from the power board as seen here. Now lift the control panel straight up and off of the cabinet. Remove these two screws from the bottom of the dryer front. Remove these two upper screws and lift the dryer front off of the cabinet. To remove the tub, first create side clearance by spreading the cabinet open slightly. To do this, remove this screw from the power board support bracket at the left side. Leave the bracket stationary and remove this single screw attaching the cabinet wrapper to the front of the blower housing. Spread the cabinet open slightly. This creates the gap between the tub and wrapper needed to remove the closed drum. The belt needs to be released before removing the drum. This is done from the front of the machine. Insert both hands in the areas indicated on screen to access and maneuver the belt tensioning system. The idler pulley, viewed here from the left side of the tub, needs to be moved to the right to release the tension on the belt. Push against the idler assembly here. The rod is spring steel and will bend enough to lock it into this hooked area of the motor bracket. The technician's left hand will release that tension. The technician's right hand will come in under the center of the tub and slip the belt off of the pulleys. Hook the idler pulley into the motor bracket on the left side. With the idler assembly locked into place, both hands can now be used to slip the belt off of the pulleys. Be sure to wear protective Kevlar gloves and sleeves during this procedure. There are many sharp edges inside the machine compartment of the dryer. From the front of the machine, grasp the belt with one hand and the front edge of the tub with the other and slide the tub forward, out of the rear bearing, and then out of the cabinet. The gas burner is located at the bottom right side of the cabinet and is serviceable once the drum is removed. Remove the single screw securing the burner tube to the assembly mounting. This will allow access to the igniter and orifice. Carefully lift the porcelain burner assembly out to expose the igniter and orifice. Find the igniter connector fastened to the black gas line and unplug it. Then remove the single screw securing the igniter to the mounting bracket. A stubby Phillips screwdriver works best for this procedure. Be sure to wear protective gloves as there are many sharp edges in this area. Slide the igniter down to clear the mount. Be sure not to handle the dark surface of the new igniter with bare hands. Oils from the skin will contaminate the igniter and cause premature failure. The flame detector is attached to the burner housing. Remove this one screw to replace this part. This concludes this training video.